Hey YouTube, it's Katrina. Welcome to day 44 of the orbit. And the book that I'm going to be reviewing uh, quickly for you today is Sylvia Plath's The Bell Jar. So, deep. Uh, okay, so this is a piece of American literature and it's a classic. Sylvia Plath, um, she, I'm just gonna read the back, just the one. Sylvia Plath was born in 1932 in Massachusetts. Her books include the poetry collections, The Colossus Crossing the Water, Winter Trees, Ariel, and The Collected Poems, which won the Pulitzer Prize. She was married to the poet Ted Hughes and died in London in 1963. Now, this book is semi-autobiographical, even though it is a piece of fiction. And it's semi-autobiographical because things that happen in the book um, happened to the author, but she changed names and places, and of course, um, she had to put in a little bit of more dramatic touches. But sad thing about this book is that a month after it was pu published, she committed suicide. Um, actually, really, really, um, ooh, she put her head in an oven. Um, they don't say that on the back. And the book was actually um, like forbidden to be published in the United States for a while. It could only be published in Europe because of her family being afraid of, you know, the repercussions. Because um, she was a famous, you know, writer. And, anyways, the Bell Jar is about this girl named <coughs> Esther Green, and Greenwood, and she. You know, she's a very normal girl. She loves fashion. She's very intelligent, and she um, it's funny. And the book, you know, follows her, and you see her slowly start to go crazy. This is a piece of what the back says. Sylvia Plath masterfully draws the reader into Esther's breakdown with such intensity that Esther's insanity becomes completely real and even rational as probable and accessible an experience as going to the movies. Such deep penetration into the dark and harrowing corners of the psyche is an extraordinary accomplishment and has made the bell jar a haunting American classic. I read, first read this book. Um, I was in middle school. Don't read this book if you're in middle school. It's way over your head. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so high school and up. It's really, really well written, and it's kind of, like, scary when you read it, you know. It's from the point of view of Esther, and you're going through it, you're reading, you're reading, and it really is, like, you know that there's something off, but it just seems like, oh yeah, of course, you know, and, and then she's, you know, going for treatments, and you're like, wait a second. Wait, she's nuts, you know. Anyways, the bell jar, the title, um, comes from um, when the uh, protagonist explain, like, describes going crazy as being under a bell jar because it's like you're suffocating and you, you, you know, it distorts your vision of the outside world, the reality, and it's like. When it, she says, like, when it's descended upon you, you know, when you're in the bell jar, it's like, this is your world. And then when it's, when, when it's up, it's always hanging above you. You know, it can come down any, any time. So, that's how she describes mental illness. And, um, yes, it is very haunting. It is a great read. Um, yeah. So, The Bell Jar, it came out as a movie uh, a few decades ago, but it's going to be a movie again next year, apparently. It's, like, in production or whatever, and one of the uh, producers, I believe, is Julia Stiles, who, it's rumored to be, is going to play um, 
one of the characters in in the book. So, if you see it come out next year, this is the original. In other news, I um, just woke up from a really good nap. I have no idea how long I fell asleep for, but I'm still feeling a little tired and a little slow. <laughs> it's probably because I went to sleep so late last night and um, woke up really early this morning. So catching up, to, up on sleep. Ooh, whoa. And that's it. Yeah, so I hope that you had a great day. I hope that you have a great day tomorrow on day 45. And I will see you there. Bye.